All right, good morning and welcome to our channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about can I get a mobile home? Uh, can you qualify for a mobile home utilizing a Section 8 voucher? You know, is it possible? And what are some of the changes? Today I'm also going to be introducing a few of my co hosts. Now, many of you know I rescue cats. Um, this is not an attention grabber. They decided they were going to interfere with the video. So that is Mama behind me. Let's see if we can get a good picture of her. That's Mom and her daughter. Uh, the daughter's here, and uh, that's one of three kittens, and uh, so they'll be my co-host today. So, all right, guys. So, HUD has uh, they did a new press release. HUD has proposed uh, updates to manufactured homes, and I think this is in response to the 2022 uh, 2022 crisis where we have a uh, lack of affordable housing. I knew this was eventually going to have to happen because, you know. When you have a market, come on, Kiki, come on now. When you have a market, essentially, where the prices of homes keep rising because there's a shortage, and then you're offering uh, very low interest rates at the time, compelled most of Americans, including investors, to buy up a bunch of houses. And then, of course, landlords that clearly were renting out their older properties, uh, they didn't have that much value. Now the two hundred thousand dollar house is now worth a million. They sell it, evict all the uh, voucher holders. So unintended consequences of the pandemic. But to get to the point, uh, let's talk about some of the changes. But before I do that, I'm going to do a quick introduction. I am the owner of Section Eight Consulting.com, as you can see on the screen here. Um, we work with. Uh, we have about twenty one years of experience. Fifteen thousand more clients served. Uh, probably between seven and ten thousand vouchers. Uh, we've been able to attain per clients one way or another and we rotate between 87 and 91 percent success rate i prefer 91 it sounds a little bit better so that means there's some failure rates uh sometimes we don't always get it done uh so anyways moving on let's get up to the updates real quick and uh, oh and by the way there's the about section you can read the, the web page now information about our company the services we offer casework and all you can find essentially uh through the links in the description as well as in the comments section so the proposed uh, changes here, and I'm going to have to move things around a little bit so we can see it. So under the new mandates, uh, they're going to be changing some of the des uh, core designs for this. So yes, you can use a manufactured home if it's approved, but they're going to uh, they're going to update the standards to allow for the newer units because it was pretty stringent rules and it was based on 1976 policy. So I think what's critical here is we're allowing many more different types of trailers, mobile homes, manufactured homes that keep changing names over the course of time. Uh, you know, when I was growing up, we just called it a trailer. Then it became a mobile home. And there goes a kitten flying down off the chair, but she'll be all right. Um, so that being said, uh, the new proposed rules will allow for different types of designs. They'll also allow for multifamily uh, trusses and different designs that usually were not allowed and also, this would be inclusionary of those of you that are wanting to have, uh, lost my train of thought. Motherfucker, man. And also, this would be inclusionary of home ownership. Now, we talk about manufactured homes and trailers, and we talk about the concept of renting that they're changing policies. You believe it or not, some of the newer units, I didn't even want to allow people to rent from them using a Section 8 voucher or even as a subsidy because of silly little things like roof designs, trusses, and so on. So this is going to bring that 1976 law up to date and make virtually most of the mobile homes that are safe on the market to be, per, you know, be purchased or rented at this point. So that goes and kind of gravitates us into the world of can I utilize my voucher if I've already got one or our subsidy to be able to get get over to a lot and purchase it? Why not? You know, a lot of mobile homes you can rent, you could uh, purchase uh, around 100 or 150k, and then of course if you're able to find some uh, inexpensive land or land that has uh, has no restrictions on it, then you likely would be able to house your you know house you or your family at a lower cost than you going out and taking a 30-year conventional one, two, three hundred, or half a million dollar home. I think that's the big trap. And then you're also, a lot of you guys get tra trapped in the whole situation where they have a homeowner's uh, association and require all those fees, which is like rent almost. You're paying three, four hundred a month just for the luxury living in the neighborhood that tells you how and when you can do things in your own yard. 
That's wild to me. Even I've considered the option. Some of these mobile homes are pretty nice. It's definitely not what it used to be. For those that don't know, when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, we had trailers. And uh, I think we've all heard of that common term, trailer trash. Big monster park, bunch of bad children. I grew up in one of those, so I know. I definitely know what it's like um, to be on the other side <laughs> of things. So I still call them trailers. I don't care. Look, you can put lipstick on a pig anytime you want. It's still the same thing. It's a pig with lipstick. It's a trailer. But the key point is you can use your money. You can keep your money. And you can go on vacation and live better or, you, you know, and live in that trailer or mobile home or manufactured home. Or you can turn around and create a new note in this gigantic house, beautiful house that you can't even afford to put a, uh, put a uh, lamp in and then continue to pay out all that money to the landlord. And then he can go on vacation and have fun. That's the thing, guys. I'm already, I'm you know, I'm going to be 50 soon in I'm already looking at reducing what I have. That way, I'm reducing the amount of money being spent, and then I can utilize that money rather than paying some gigantic mortgage and just going out there and living life, okay? Most of us are not spring chickens. We don't need to be out in a Mercedes-Benz. We don't have to have the biggest castle on the block. There's nothing to prove anymore. Uh, it's, it's four square walls. you got a toilet, a shower, a sink. It's comfortable. It smells nice. You don't have to have a palace. That's that's the American dream taking advantage of you. I'm sorry I'm going off uh, par with this, but that's what it is. And so I think that whole, utilizing vouchers towards the purchase of a home uh, would be a very smart play, especially if you can get into one of these on your own land, okay? Not these zero property lines. Look around. Look, I live out in Houston. And uh, just be clear, I work with clients all over the U.S., but I live in Houston. My office is in Houston. Look, I can tell you firsthand that we got more houses that are cookie cutter and zero property lines. In other words, you step out your front door, you've got to look at somebody else's beady eyes. Nobody wants to do that. Every time you walk out your front door, you got to stare at some other person. You walk out your back door, you got to sit there and look at your neighbor. Say any direction you go, you're trapped. There's no privacy. Nobody wants to buy into that. Okay? A friend of mine did it, and I told him I hated it when I was at his house. So, uh, but anyways, you know, critical factor is owning, owning that, and then you can buy some property. Look, you don't have to live in a metropolitan area where a piece of land is going to cost you a million dollars for four square feet. You can purchase the, a mobile home, a nice one, gets you about a half acre that gives you enough breathing room and a tall enough fence where you don't have to sit there and hear your, your, your neighbors fart.